Yo! JD here, Tyrell Limits, and as you can see, on F1 2020, as always, and we are back doing some more online lobbies, this time at Baku, Azerbaijan. Low-key, one of my favourite tracks I've done in this game. Had some bad memories, though, but <laughs> we will try and get past that. So we are just going to get straight into this. In the Red Bull... With the new camera settings, which I have to say, I really, really do like it. Using the default setup, starting at P8. As the lights go out now, trying to get a really good start here. Don't get a bad launch, but going into this first corner, we just oh, I'm sorry, completely I just forget the break pretty much. As the Williams has just been absolutely killed. Probably, no, most definitely my fault in that occasion. I'm just trying to stay amongst the ghost cars as the racing point of Ferrari collide oh, very very Sorry. badly and now we're up into p5 oh, here so coming down into turn three as we hit the breaking point he ricocheted oh, but goes straight I'm back into everyone, the alpha tori now trying to get a good launch off this right hand out it's a very good overtaking spot if you can get the live right so going into we just got steamed down the inside of the alpha tori of radioactive and then on the exit we're going to try and get the racing point of sunset agnostic going into the right hand and we outbreak him get the move done and then he goes into the wall i don't think i put him in the wall i think he just went into the wall after i overtook him uh, and now we're in p3 lobby, with eqr suchi if i even said that right and nxn wsm dark that was a mouthful so we've got these two guys up ahead it? with the default setup so everyone's running the exact same in this lobby and honestly don't think I've done this track since those minus 273 degree tyres. That was an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to try and get some redemption here. Try and get that top step off the podium. But these two guys on my head, I know for sure EQR is a quite a Same fast driver. So I know my work is definitely going to be yeah, cut out on this occasion. I agree. So we're just going to try and conserve our ERS for now. Three, As I always say, and there's always, I always try and give a little bit of a lesson of definitely some performance related advice just thinking ahead of the long game i can see they're both battling at this point so i'm not really needing to use much of my ers and going down through here don't really think i'm going to be using any of the ers which i don't which is always good to see unless i'm contradicting myself but i can see here i'm going probably comfortably within the drs zone at the end of this sap without having to use the ERS. So you can see we're almost on 100% and just saving it for when we really do need it. Because I think the guy in the lead EQR, it feels like to me that he is definitely using a little bit of his deployment. So once again, I don't have to use it whatsoever here. I'm well within the DRS zone and I feel like I have the speed definitely on the two guys up here. So going through the castle section, such a iconic corner i think i actually really enjoy this track which is why i was so gutted in tsrl that i wasn't able to show what i was capable of because i felt like i could have had a very very strong result around that track going through into heat making sure you hit all this curb some people avoid it completely for me if you hit it at a 45 degree angle then it usually goes through pretty nicely so go through here now was a little bit indecisive of how I was going to use this ERS. So I used a little bit. I then thought to myself, no, I really need to get past them. So I'm going to put it back on again, but then decided to turn it off again. And I think I'm even going to do a little bit of a squirt here. No, I don't. Just wasn't too sure when I should use it. As we do set the fastest up here. So we still have a good amount left available. And you can see EQR was actually cleared off a little bit. So we're going to have to try and overtake him going through into here so it's crucial that i get the move done coming off here now now i'm going to use the overtake button and you're about to see that famous red flashing light is coming on need to get the move done here really badly so it looks like he doesn't really want to concede too much as we go back to the race now the red arrow is gone but then we actually make contact what? of him to stay there because the red indicator noticing? light wasn't even there so i i thought he was going to concede the position and to be honest you know, he wasn't going to go around the outside of that right-hander, but nonetheless, no he one came off clear. too badly on that occasion. But now we have a 2.4 second gap. Inukul cars, all in the same setup. 
closing in on someone who is a very, very quick driver. And the only thing I have in my advantage is that I feel I have a little bit more raw speed around here. But you can see now I'm starting to use a bit more of the power of the battery at my disposal. Coming through to here again, really enjoy this corner. Hitting it at that 45 degree angle, you really have to, unfortunately, cut it as much as possible. Because if you just kiss it, then you're going to go straight into the wall. And it's quite a nerve wracking, that's probably the most nerve wracking corner on the game, actually, in fact, going through there. Because you just lose so much time if you don't fully, fully commit to it. So you can see we're using a bit of the ERS going down this straight here. And I was just thinking, I need to get in the DRS zone by the end of the next lap. So I'm going to have to make up a full second after we cross the line next time, which is definitely not going to be an easy feat here. So I'm just trying to avoid using as much as possible through this section. Locking up is very, very easy, especially with the default setup. So I'll go punch it a little bit more. Gained about a tenth or two tenths. So now I really have to rely on just the pure driving go through here. So try not to make any mistakes. Doing a bit of a lockup, but lockups are okay as long as you do get that extra rotation. You can still get it despite having a lockup and doing those corners quite nicely. You can see making up another tenth. As the curb starts, that's your turning in point. Try and kiss this curb. Second gear, short shifting into third, just to minimize the wheel spin and maximize the traction. Going to here, making sure you go hook the car on the inside. Go up into this corner. I go up into fifth. Now I go down to third in this corner. A lot of people use fourth if you're feeling brave. But here, sacrifice the right, making sure you cut the left and get a good exit. And you can see that the guy's speed up ahead. We have made up probably about three tenths of pure driving going through there. But we're just trying to, again, avoid using the ERS. Oh, sorry, yeah, the ERS as much as possible. Coming to it, this time I try and avoid doing a lockup. We do it very, very nicely, trail breaking very well going to it now i've decided to use the power and i have to get in this drs zone i really have to get within it and put that pressure on him which typically i like to save with my ears for the last lap but sometimes i've learned recently you have to use it and you can see by the delta we have just about got within that one second window which actually comes up at turn two doing a purple bar sector you can see we're going to get the benefit of the DRS here. So come through here to here, making sure we get as good exit as possible. That was very, very nice going on the DRS line. And we're not going to use any of the ERS. So there really is no point here. We just got to save it all down that back straight, which I think is probably, along with that of Vietnam, probably the longest back straights in Formula 1 today. Coming through into this section once again, just making sure we just miss this curb. Straighten up on the exit. And now going to the left hand, just trying to fill his mirrors as much as I possibly can. Going a little bit wide actually on this occasion. So we really need to be within six tenths coming off this final braking zone. Because that's where you get the benefit of the slipstream as well. So we only have about 40% ERS to play with. I was really hoping that he was probably going to be a little bit lower than that. Which I suspected at the time. So coming up into here again. Just trying to be disciplined not to use any of the power. It's crucial for this left-hander that we get as good exit as we possibly can. You can see, turning very early, and we get a pretty decent exit. You can see we're just about within six temps. Trying a trail break once again, and he goes a bit wide, runs onto the curb, which will definitely hinder his traction. So we are just under the seven temp barrier. So this is the perfect point. It's all about how much ERS he has got available. And you can see the red light will start to flash just about now. And with the slipstream, with the DRS, now we're going to activate the human DRS here. Oh, going across yes. the line, it is just Boom. about winning oh. this race. 0 0.048, four hundredths of a second. Oh my days, that was close. That shows the reason why you need to try and preserve your battery as much as possible. If I have the extra, or have less than 5% of what I had, that definitely would not have happened. That was a very, very enjoyable race. Just doing my best Valtteri Bottas stroll impression. I really hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you tune in for the live stream for TSRL tomorrow. You'll be able to see by the graphic here. This is what I need in order to win the championship. So thank you so much for the support of my videos. It really does mean the world to me. And I will catch you very, very soon. Peace.